Live Carson's hanging out with me uh -huh. at the desk right now. Yeah. And it's a nice day and we're inside, it is. so that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Mm -hmm. You know how I know there's a temperature change? How? I was just told there's uh, hair sticking up on the top yeah, of my head. Like yeah, right, it's like right here. It's right there, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I, it's cold. The static electricity is all out there, yeah. so. I shocked, yeah. oh my gosh, I shocked myself on the door earlier and it was like the worst <laughs> pain ever. It was horrible. <laughs> I'm being dramatic. But. Yeah, uh, that's how you know it's East Texas winter, right? Let's uh, go ahead and talk about what's going on outside. The clouds have finally cleared the Tyler vicinity, and I am very happy about that because it means it is going to be a great afternoon to be outdoors. Now, if you're walking, not doing a lot of physical exercise, well, you might want to remember those jackets if you're going to be outside. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what uh, is going on across the area. Temperatures are in the 50s and 60s. Of course, we do have the clouds in deep east Texas and also the higher clouds in our northern counties, and it's only a matter of time before these clouds slip out of deep east Texas. So I expect everybody at some point today to see that sunshine by three o'clock. We still have those clouds lingering on and off in deep east Texas, but the temperatures will probably warm maybe two or three more degrees thanks to that northeasterly wind we're seeing. It's pretty strong. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s by midnight tonight, all the way down into the 30s by six o'clock tomorrow morning. So it is going to be a cool and chilly start for you as we head into the two o'clock hour tomorrow afternoon. Looking pretty nice. If you're heading out to any of those Friday football playoff games tomorrow, it's going to be chilly. Make sure you remember that jacket, but watch what happens Friday night into Saturday morning. Winds return to the south as a result. Temperatures, well, they stay in check. 8 o'clock, we're dealing with temps generally in the 50s, warming well into the 70s for Saturday afternoon. Now, a freeze warning is in effect. Technically, it starts tomorrow at midnight, so more like tonight at midnight, and it's going to run us through about 7 o'clock for our eastern counties. And this is the area I'm most concerned with. I expect a widespread light freeze for our northern counties, but don't discount deep east Texas because those rural low lying areas, especially places like Nacogdoches, you guys may very well see a freeze because you guys tend to be three or four degrees cooler than, let's say, Lufkin on a clear morning like what I'm expecting. So in summary of that, we hit 62 degrees today. Tonight we're down to 35. Clear and cold, light freeze certainly in the realm of possibilities here. Next chance of rain, that looks to be Sunday night in the Monday morning, but we clear out. It's kind of a bonus cold front with our weekly cold front series. Series. Lots of sunshine Monday and Tuesday. We hit 72 Wednesday in deep east Texas. Similar trend. Do not let your guard down. I get it. You're not under a freeze warning, but please cover up those plants if you got them because you might be caught off guard tonight with those temperatures in the lower 30s. 70s return this weekend. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com. Thank you very much, Carson. Well, we will be right back with more of KETK's East Texas.